guys welcome back today i bring you a video where i show you how to solve problems with conversions so watch the video i also have another video where i explain all the units of measurements and what conversions you need for your entrance exams so uh, i'll put that in the link below let's go okay let's start off with weight I have used two questions for each unit of measurements. So for weight, we have two questions. The first one says, how many grams are there in four kilograms? Now this sticky note, I'll be showing you every time we uh, use a question because those are the steps that we have to follow. The first thing is that we have to identify the unit of measurement in the problem. So in this question, the unit of measurement we're talking about is grams in kilograms we got grams and kilograms cool step number two says identify the conversion rate so you go to your conversion rates that is in your memory you have memorized all of them so we see kilograms and grams the two measurements that we need are in this conversion rate this is our rate that we have to use Number three, step number three says express as a ratio and proportion. So this and this, both we have to express it as ratio and proportion to solve the problem. So what we do is we put in one side the grams and one side the kilograms. So we say one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Okay. Now you take the question and it says, how many grams? So grams is your X, you don't know, right? That's your X. But they're asking you, there are four kilograms. So in the side of the kilograms, you write four kilograms. We express as a ratio proportion. Now we go to step number four, which is cross multiply. It's very easy, you just cross multiply. So you multiply this, and you multiply this, okay? So we say one kg multiplied by x is x, right? And then equal to four multiplied by 1,000. Now in the HESI exam or T's, you're gonna have a calculator. So you just multiply four by 1,000. So four multiplied by 1,000 will be four, x is equal to 4,000 grams. That's your final answer, as easy as that. Now, question number two again in weight we, is the same steps all the way. Now I'm gonna do it a little bit faster, but you can follow me, right? So how many ounces is one measurement are in three gallons? So we, uh, we identified those. Now we look where in our um, memorized measurements is that conversion rate. So we see that one gal is equal to 128 ounces is the one that we need, right? So we write down that here, one gallon is equal to 128 ounces. We read the question and express as a duration proportion. How many ounces means X are in three gallons? Three gallons. What was step number two? Step number two is to cross multiply. Okay, so one gallon multiplied by X is X and you bring your calculator and multiply 128 multiply by three gallons. That's X is equal to 384 ounces. Okay, in temperature section, we only have two equations that we can use, so it's easier for us. So on the first question, it says, what is 32 centigrades into Fahrenheit? So these are the two measurements that we're talking about. Here, we just use the um, equation. So we're trying to find out Fahrenheit, so I just take Fahrenheit's equation. Now, you replace the C with 
how many uh, the value is. So 32 multiplied by 1.8 plus 32. Very easy. You just bring your calculator here. You multiply 32 by 1.8 and you add this with 32. You got 89.6 Fahrenheit. That's it. The other uh, problem, the other question says, what is 102 Fahrenheit into centigrade? So we take this equation right here to find out centigrades. We replace the F with our value that we have, which is 102 minus 32, and you all divide that by 1.8. Take your calculator, 102 minus 32 is 70. You divided it by 1.8, and that will give you 38.8888, which is 38.9, basically. So there is how we express it. Volume and capacity equations. How much is 5 liters in milliliters? So liters, we're talking about liters, and we're talking about milliliters. So we go find out the conversion rate. 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So we write that one, uh, we write that down. 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters milliliter, five liter, you put it in this side. And we're trying to find out milliliter, which is our X. What do we do next? We cross multiply it. One liter multiplied by X is X. And you multiply five by 1,000. Five multiplied by 1,000 is 5,000 milliliter. The next one is how much is five ounces in milliliters, right? Again, we uh, identified, we go and see that we have a conversion rate for that, which is one ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. One ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. We have ounces, five ounces. You write it in the left side. But we're trying to find milliliters, so we put it in the x side. What do we do next is cross multiply. So 1 multiplied by x is x. And 30 multiplied by 5, you bring your calculator. 30 multiplied by 5 is 150 milliliters okay now we come to the length section again three kilometers is equal to how many meters so we have kilometer and we have meter we go find it and one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters cool we have three kilometers we put it on the left side where we don't know meters so we put an x that's what we're trying to find what is the next step? The next step is to cross multiply. X multiplied by 1 is X again, and 1000 multiplied by 3 is 3000. What are your units? Your units are meter because that's what you're trying to find. Next one 36 inches is how many feet? We have inches, we have feet. We go find it, there we go, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we say we have 36 inches, but we're trying to find how much is that in feet or foot, right? So we put an X there, we cross multiply, 36 multiplied by 1 is 36. 12 multiplied by x is 12x. Now this is an equation right here. And how to solve equations, I have another video for that, so go check that out if you want to learn. And so basically here, 12 and x are getting multiplied. So when you're trying to take this number on the other side to get your x, it will go in the opposite symbol. So because here it's multiplying, it will go as a division. So 36 divided by 12, equal to x so x is equal to 3 
Okay, and lastly, this is our units of capacity. Um, to read this, I have another, like I mentioned before, I have another video of where I go through all the conversions and uh, what you need to know to ace a HACI exam or the T's. So go check that out. But here, um, we're trying to solve the problems, right? So question is three fourths fins is how many ounces? Now, if you see here, we do not have in this diagram a, a conversion rate that is directly telling us about pins and ounces. This one needs two uh, parts of it to solve. Because first, I have pins, right? One pin is equal to two cups because one P, inside the P, there are two cups. So we would use the spins, get our cups, and then when I get my cup, we know that one cup is equal to eight ounces. So that's how I would solve this one. So let's see. We'll use the one pin is equal to two cups. Cool. We have three, four pins, and we don't know our cups, so that's our x. So we're going to take our calculator, multiply x with 1 is x, and cross-multiply this. 3 fourths multiplied by 2. x is equal to, so 3 fourths multiplied by 2 is equal to, 3 upon 2 or 1.5 or 1.5 okay this 1.5 is cups cool we got our cups now we have one cup is equal to eight ounces so we can use that one let me just draw a line so we say one cup is equal to eight ounces so we have 1.5 cups equal to how many ounces okay so we multiply one with x this x cross multiply 1.5 with 8 1.5 multiplied by 8 is 12 and that's our answer 12 ounces okay and then the other question says how many cups in four quarts Okay, so cups and quarts. Cool. So to read this diagram again, we have cups is the smallest one inside each P, and then quarts is the Q one, right? So if we take one Q, if we take one quart, how many C's are there? How many cups are there? One, two, three, four. Four cups. So one quart is equal to four cups. So we have four quarts is equal to how many cups? We cross multiply them. One multiplied by x is x, and four multiplied by four is 16. 16 cups. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below for any questions.